Hello again, and welcome back to Illegally Cited. This is BGFH, and I am back for another unique accessibility video. This time we're not looking at any particular game, uh, but we're looking at something that I've thought about doing for a long time now in some form, but just really haven't figured out what and how I wanted to go about doing it. So we're just going to wing it. And uh, so today I'm actually just going to be taking a look at the various ways we can access Steam. Or in a lot of cases uh, for some, especially for totally blind users, in a lot of ways that we can't access Steam. Because, uh, you know, I, I've been actually trying to contact Steam over the years, you know, give them suggestions, ask for assistance, and they really have not been very receptive. Um, I can't even remember if I've gotten emails back from them over the years, you know, having explained different things to them or requested things. Um, <clears throat> and if I have, it's probably just been, oh yeah, we'll look into it and, uh, thanks for your, uh, you know, your carbon copied or your, your, your general, um, you know, canned response emails, which really ticked me off to be honest with you but what I thought we would do in this video is I'm gonna not comprehensively go through every little aspect of Steam because we would be here, be here forever um, but just let's just do a general check and let's see how the actual Steam client the Steam software is as far as accessibility I am also logged into uh, Internet Explorer, and I'm also logged into the um, Steam website, which is essentially the same, you know, it's it has a lot of the functionality, the store, the community, that kind of stuff. You can access via the web, via www.steampowered.com. And we may also even take a quick gander at the Steam iOS app, which can be kind of handy. I've actually used it in a few situations, especially during the uh, crazy holiday sales. If I'm away from home, visiting family, and but you know, I gotta just I gotta get that you know that flash deal, you know that bundle that's like eighty percent off or whatever, come in handy. Um, so I have NVDA running at the moment. NVDA version, what is it, twenty seventeen point four? We're up to the one that just came out not long ago. So we are current there. We've got Windows ten running. Um, and yeah, so let's just dive right in. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> the Steam client, this is where we're going to start, and I'll just give you a general tour. We're probably going to have to use uh, magnification as well throughout this whole spiel, because um, the Steam client is <clears throat> not accessible, really, at all, and it's a damn shame. Because if I, you notice I have, if I hit the Windows key. Start window. Cortana window. Sir, welcome to Steam Internet Explorer. <clears throat> Steam. So I have the Internet Explorer window, and I have the Steam window. So you know that NVDA is on. Now, I mean, I am in the Steam window. <laughs> However, what happens if I arrow up and down? It scrolls the screen. Up and down. It's not even seeing any of the body of text. Nothing. I have, I think I've tried this with JAWS a while back and it had the similar results. I will note that I do not have JAWS on this machine, uh, nor do I really intend on putting it on this machine because I really don't want to have screen readers that interfere or assistive technology that interfere with the video chain, uh, stuff like that, um, if possible. Uh, and for the, my general workflow, what I do on my home computer, I typically don't need it. I can get by with a combination of, you know, system access, NVDA, and narrator from time to time. So um, I'm not really going to be testing JAWS in there, and I figure NVDA is a good test because everybody can get NVDA because it is free. Um, of course, you like NVDA, please donate because they could definitely use the help, and they're doing some fantastic work. So, yeah, I'm arrowing up and down. <laughs> doesn't speak anything. What if I hit tab? Doesn't say a word. 
What if I use my NVDA cursor? Bottom, blank, bottom, top, bottom, 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 top, 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 bottom. I'm using my blank. number pad. I'm using, you know, I'm trying to navigate with the, essentially the browse mode. Number lock on, number lock off, top, blank, screen review, blank, see if bottom, top, no, nope. bottom, top, blank, no next review mode. Okay. No next review mode. So bottom, that's... top, nope. blank. Bottom, top. I'm just hitting different things, and it, it literally sees absolutely nothing. So uh, the Steam client, I'm looking at the store page right now, the main, you know, and this Show is desktop. a cluttered Action mess. Uh, it's actually, I kind of prefer the old uh, look of Steam a little bit better that they had a year or two ago. Um, there are things that I like about this, but it's just there's so much stuff, and... Even if you're a low vision user, let's say using magnification, let's zoom in here. Let's turn Windows Magnifier on. I'll back out a couple levels here. Unknown. So, um, <clears throat> you know, on the top of the Steam client window, the Steam software, you actually have a menu bar. So, you know, you have things like, uh, you know, like Steam, View, Friends, Games, Help. Uh, so you have those types of things. So if I were to click Steam, on unknown. games, let's say, <clears throat> this is actually where you go to, um, let's say you get, uh, a, you know, like a, what is it, Humble Bundle codes, or a friend gifts you something, then it's not directly through Steam, or, you know, Bundle Stars, any of these different places where you get like a Steam code or something, um, you can activate a, get, uh, activate a game on Steam. Um, or if you back something on Kickstarter or another crowdfunding place, I've done that a few times. Uh, you know, they'll, once you get the codes emailed to you, they'll send you a code and boom, you got it. Um, that's where you go. Unknown. The game's Unknown. menu up at the top, but you have to, of course, do it through the, um, through magnification. Now I was just sent a link via Twitter, uh, via Ranger, Ranger station there. And just go ahead and check on, uh, just follow me on Twitter, at BGFH79. Unknown. He just informed me literally earlier today that there are actually, there is a way to activate a game through the Steam website too. So you don't have to rely on the client now. And I think that's a new thing because, as I remember correctly, I don't think you could through the website before. So to me anyway, that's a new thing. Um, so that is good. Um, like I said, the, I retweeted that as well. So if you, you know, you I'll give you the link and maybe I'll try to remember to post that, um, post that in the description below for this video. So you've got your menu bar at the top and then you, it's almost like, like I said, this almost looks like it's a web browser of sorts because you got your back forward. Uh, but instead of like your Unknown. ribbon or your toolbar, you've got another, sort of in larger text you've got this long or you got this uh, ser series of menus here i've got uh store unknown. library community unknown. unknown and then of course my handle bgfh unknown. so um unknown. you know naturally all these have pop up when or pop up menus if i hover over the store unknown. it says unknown and even with mouse echo turned on see what's interesting is a lot of like troublesome web pages or programs like via the keyboard with the screen reader i've found many that don't work <clears throat> but oddly if you mouse over something with the screen reader that does support uh mouse over support uh in a lot of cases you can actually get the screen reader to say something unfortunately the steam client you can't even navigate it that way so you have to rely exclusively on your vision if you're using the Steam um, software right now. Uh, I'm not going to go through all these things because, like Unknown. I said, we'd be here for days. But, you know, you got Unknown. your store. You can kind of sort your games and start, like, how do you want to search for stuff or how do you want to, like, what do you want to find? Um, you know, library. This, of course, Steam. if I go over here, uh, I have different view options. I can do, like, a tile view. I can do start. my list view, which I have here. Uh, good old game perception there. Check that out. Check that. Uh, let's play out on my channel if you'd like. Quake Champions. Hopefully, I'll be doing a video on that here pretty soon. So again, this is it's pretty nice visually. I like the dark background color. They kind of like your uh, dark gray. Like the color scheme of Steam is excellent as far as 
low vision goes, it's actually really nice. But as far as screen reader accessibility, the Steam client is not good at all. Uh, doesn't really read anything via speech. Unknown. Unknown. Library Unknown. community. Th community. This is where you get like your Steam groups. Um, you know, each game. You if you follow a game closely. You know, you can find a game's community page or, you know, a, a person's community page. So, like, if I want to, you know, participate in a certain game's uh, forums or something like that, you can. Uh, and then you have the community marketplace where, you know, some games support, uh, like, in-game items. You know, Dota 2 is a big thing where people are trading items. You know, you get, like, hats and cosmetic things. And and then you have this whole Steve Achie Steam Achievements system with cards and badges which I'll talk about here in a little bit um, so that's kinda your community area now under my username I, I go under here quite a bit because so like I said if I wanna go to activity uh, this is not just my activity but this is like um, you know so yeah I'm if I follow a, if I'm a member of a group or follow <coughs> certain people um, so you know I'm with this um, Bundle stars, they they do a lot of posts. They they're pretty post happy. So you got co comments here. I can comment. Uh, BGFH okay has added. Oh yeah, to my wish list. Yes, yes. I want to look at that game. You may see that on the channel at some point in the future. So you know, self explanatory know. tells what people bought, what people added to their wish list, any activity, if you've earned achievements, that kind of a thing. Uh, you got all that, and then on the right-hand side, you actually have, you know, depend, and, and it all changes depending on what you're looking at. So, like I said, I'm just kind of giving you a rough idea. You've got your main page, and then on the right-hand side, you've got like all kinds of different stuff. And because I'm looking at my page, you know, this is where I can, you know, I can make my own uh, guides or look at my games, my friends, my groups, inventory, all this stuff down the right-hand side. Um, one thing I forgot to mention in the upper right hand corner, you also have like your little green box here, where is, this is your notifications. So if I have friend invites, group invites, um, you know, any other like comments, I can see those types of things. And then I have my Steam wallet balance. If like what I do is I typically will add <clears throat> like a hundred bucks to my Steam wallet. That way, every time I make a, a piddly little Steam purchase, let's say I may, you know, I'll buy, I buy a game for like two, three bucks, uh, I don't have to, you know, PayPal two, three dollars, PayPal two, three dollars, or my debit card or whatever. Uh, I can just go in and I can, you know, do it that way. So, you know, I can just have a balance and work with that for, you know, however long it takes me to drain that. Um, so, yeah, you have a few things up there. You got your VR mode. So that's, uh, you know, that's Steam VR. If you don't have an uh, Oculus or a Vive headset, you don't have to worry about it. Your big picture mode, this is where if you have your computer hooked up to a TV, you got this little controller icon. Uh, I don't, I haven't really used this much because I haven't hooked, uh, I had a laptop that I hooked up to my TV briefly, and I played a little bit with big picture mode. It totally changes, like, a lot of the, the, the layout of how Steam looks, uh, for the TV, because it's got, like, more... It almost has more like a, you know, Amazon or Apple TV kind of a look to it, where you have, like, these big tiles and stuff so you can see stuff easier. But, you know, your big picture mode, so that's kind of an interesting thing if you wanted to... Um, if you wanted to hook your computer and use it, you know, use basically your TV as your big monitor. So under my BGFH menu here, I also have, like, you know, some of my profile... And I'll show you this a little bit more on the phone because it actually is more accessible. But I've got my, you know, BGFH, you know, it tells me my general info. I got my illegally cited YouTube channel link here. Um, you can, and then, you see, when Steam is really interesting because they've implemented, implemented not just this whole badge and achievement system, but, like, you have, for your profile, let me back out here magnification-wise. So as you earn you gain levels, you know, by playing games, buying games, participating in Steam sale activities, um, you know, sharing things with friends, uh, you know, ad posting videos, you, you earn, you earn essentially XP. It's kind of like this whole metagame 
through the Steam interface. And as you level up, as you earn more of these uh, in-game achievements and do, do all these different things, you earn XP and you earn Steam cards, which can be transformed into badges, which I'll talk about here in a minute. But basically, you also earn the ability to customize your profile. So you can, you know, you, you have, you know, you can feature different aspects that you want to focus on on your Steam profile. So, you know, you can put, uh, like right now, I have my background is this uh, Left for Dead kind of wallpaper on either side. That's uh, kind of a cool thing that I've had. Uh, I've had this wallpaper on forever. Uh, Left 4 Dead 2 being one of my favorite games ever. I know. Love it. Uh, as you can see, I don't know if I should be proud or ashamed, and I think the answer is yes. Uh, <laughs> this is just my general... Um, let me zoom in again. So one of the... Steam. They're basically like these little widgets that you, you know, you gain the ability to add more and more widgets to your page that focus on different things. So like, you know, my game collection, this is one of my featured things and it's obscene, 1,841 games. So if you think, if you ever thought that I had, that I'm going to be running out of potential content for the channel in just Steam games alone... Boy, are you mistaken. I could, we could be doing videos for ever. Um, you know, DLC add-ons, a whole buttload of those, over a thousand of those, 1,175. Ugh, 20, 26 reviews, uh, 171 on my wish list. And then it gives you a, the ability to, you know, like you, I got my four favorite games. You can, f you can focus on these. I might update this list, but... This is a pretty damn good list here. I've got Left 4 Dead 2, Saints Row the Third, Red Faction Guerrilla, and Chivalry Medieval Warfare, which I really ought to play more, especially that sequel. My favorite game currently I have, that's a little module that I was able to add a while ago, The Stanley Parable. Also did a Let's Play for that. Highly recommend watching that. That is a really funny and really awesome game. Check that out on the channel. So then, you know, like I said, you just got all these different... Um, um, little, little widgets that you can add to your Steam page, your badges. So, like I said, as you complete, uh, you play games for a certain number of time and you do achievements and all kinds of different stuff, you can earn um, badges, uh, which I'll show you after we're done with this screen. Uh, let's see, what is another widget? So, yeah, achievements, you know, I got like my top achievement game, so I've got a whole bunch of achievements. Um... Anyway, you know, you get a lot of stuff. Your recently played stuff here, uh, Quake Champions, just tells you a little bit how much you've played in the last two weeks and lifetime, and that's basically it. <laughs> yeah, Jawbreakers, I, lo I love that comment that he posted along there. I dread the day I surpass your game count. Nice, because it means you've given up on video games. Oh, that's great. And let me win. Touche, Jawbreaker. Touche. That's that's pretty damn funny, actually. And you're probably right, because, yeah, when it comes to, like, Steam and their sales and stuff, yeah, I'm pretty weak on that. So up here, you, this is where your level is. I'm level 50 right now. Down the right-hand side, you've got, like, your achievements or your badges there. Um... And then you have just a list of everything that you've kind of added to, you know, contributed to Steam or that you own or have contributed. So, um, you know, games, inventory, uh, videos. So usually Steam. I don't put all my videos on that I do on YouTube on Steam. But as I unlock them for you guys, if it is a Steam game, um, not iOS or hardware reviews or anything like that, but if it's a Steam game... I will also add it to my Steam videos page. So it's just another aspect of the channel that I kind of incorporate into Steam, you know, maybe get my word out there. If, you know, people go to, let's say, the perception page and they say, oh, you know, this person has made, so, if, you know, people go to that community page and they say, oh, I've posted a video. Maybe they'll check it out and, you know, maybe they'll find out about my channel or maybe they'll learn a little bit something about game accessibility. You never know. So you get all that kind of stuff. Go back to the profile here. Um, let's see, what else? Action Center. So, you know, your badges, all that kind of stuff. So let's do that. 
I've been talking about these mysterious badges. Unknown, 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 uh, unknown. Yeah, unknown. I'll unknown you. So, badges. Let's go here. Um, this is, I'll zoom out again. So each game, when you install it and the first time you play, if it supports Steam achievements, which it'll show you on its Steam page, um, it will tell you, you know, like, oh, Steam achievements. Uh, and you can go in game and look at what they are. You can earn them. Um, and when you do, or when you play a certain amount of time, you earn these trading cards. Now, for each game, you can only earn, let's say there's five trading cards available for a given game. They won't let you earn them in-game, all of them in-game. They, they'll they maybe let you earn two, maybe three. Probably two if it's a you know, five-card game. Um, but then the rest, you'll either have to trade with friends or purchase them on the Steam market to complete a collection for your badge. So let's say I go into... Let me zoom Steam. in here. Let's pick a, Let's pick an interesting game here. Okay, what well, remains of Edith Finch? Yeah, I've done a Let's Play of that, and that one might come out in October because it's kind of a really... Uh, it's sort of a horror game, but it's kind of messed up and really cool. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I only need one more card. I've earned some of them, and see, it'll tell me, like on that previous page, it would have told me, you know, uh, no, no cards remaining. That you basically that you can earn. Uh, let me let me actually go back. Let me show you. I'll zoom in here again. What remains of Edith Finch? Yeah, she says. Uh, yeah. No card drops remaining. That means that I can't earn any more by playing the game. I have to either go to the market or trade with a friend, or wait and hopefully I'll earn a random card pack. Uh, for this game, sometimes you earn random card packs for random games, and you and they usually they're like packs of three cards. And when you do that, you um, you know you might get you, you might get duplicate cards, but you might get the new cards you need. Some games also have what they call foil cards, which are more rare cards, and they're just really hard to get. So you can also get like foil badges for certain games. I don't really do deal with the foil badges because I'm not going to invest a lot of money for um, these things. Occasionally, you know, like you can get cards for like, you know, five, ten cents, fifteen cents. So if I wanted this one card to fill out this badge, I could I could actually look and see if any of my friends have it. Usually they would list under here they don't that no one does. So I, I'd have to get it from the market or something. Um, and if I do that, then this, there would be a little button right up here that would say, you know, craft this badge. And then instead of that being an empty circle on the previous page, I would actually have a badge filled out and it would contribute to my level. And depending on what, you know, wh where I'm at level wise, I might unlock, you know, some emoticons for steam chat. I might unlock a steam background, uh, some kind of a steam icon or something, or I might unlock like a coupon code for other games, like you'll, you'll just unlock something within the Steam ecosystem, or several things. You know, every, what is it, every five levels or something like that, you earn the, you know, I don't remember what the base level is, but you can only have, you know, so many friends, uh, you know, add so many, so many friends to your friend list, for instance. But every so many, excuse me, so many levels, you're, you're given the ability to add more friends, you know, five more friends to your Steam. So I've done that several, several times. So I can probably have a fairly decent uh, friends list if I wanted to. So that is the Steam Steam Unknown. badges Unknown. thing. Then you go down to inventory. This also plays into the badges and stuff, but it also, if you get gifted games or let's yeah. say you buy something in a a, a pack or something... Uh, what you can do store mail running is show desktop. show desktop you can give things to people Steam. I actually have quite a few games that I've either accumulated through like bundle um, like a you know like I said these bundle websites I'll get a duplicate and maybe it'll be added um, or I don't know how I've gotten some of them but I've gotten like duplicate or if you get like a let's say a 
Some games you can buy in like a four pack because it's a game, let's say Left 4 Dead. You want to play um, with four people because that's the way it's generally meant to be played. Um, so you can buy like a four pack and then you can gift the other three to friends, that kind of a thing. But then you have all these different cards and stuff like that and different things that you can either, um, you know, use in your in your badges things or you get like Running your emoticon stuff and you can, uh, you can sell them on the market a lot of times if you wanted to or you can convert them into, uh, I forget how it works again, but you can convert them into stuff for... Yeah, so like I get my wallpapers. I can con sometimes during sales, I can convert them to some sort of weird Steam currency thing, and then turn them into points and whatever. So I mean, a lot of this stuff you really don't have to worry about. But I'm just letting you guys know because a lot of, like I said, because of the the lack of Steam accessibility, um, <laughs> you know, you probably a lot of blind people have or visually impaired people have not I gotten know. to use Steam. So I'm just kind of letting you guys know. Um, you know, if, and if this is something that sounds cool to you guys, you know, join me, go to steampower.com, find the contact information for, uh, for steam and, you know, contact them, let them know, Hey, we are, we are, uh, a valid market. We want to play games on your platform. You know, Microsoft is doing it. <clears throat> Sony's doing it. Um, Set top boxes are doing it. Come on, guys, get with the program and uh, make your platform accessible as well. Um, so the more you know, more people they hear that from, you know, maybe they'll wake up and uh, listen. Hopefully, maybe you know, share these, share this video with them for all I, you know, that that's good too. Um, so one other thing I wanted to touch on on the Steam client is the Steam groups. And I'm going to go to my group that I created that I've been kind of plugging on the channel a little bit here. In was it late June, I actually created the illegally cited Steam group. So, you know, you can join groups on anything or you can be invited to groups on anything. There's, you know, game uh, like game specific groups or, you know, let's say you have a website community that you visit. Um, you know, like the, I go to this uh, website called Gamers with Jobs. They have their own kind of community, so I've joined a couple of their groups, uh, or I've been invited to a couple of their groups. Um, you know, and I figured, you know, illegally cited, I uh, can do a custom group for that. So we got your little announcements here, and you know, please join. Um, I don't cover all my stuff that I cover on Steam here, but again, what I do is I focus it on like games that are either fully accessible to the blind, because even though Steam isn't fully accessible, there are a few games that are fully accessible, either intentionally or unintentionally. Skullgirls, um, you know, that fantastic game that I did a video for there. Skullgirls, a blind legend. Um, you know, and then I also have other games that are, oh, Karotica, the, the, the remake of Karotica is actually a really cool accessible game. Uh, that you can play. But then I have, you know, Mortal Kombat, though, uh, Mortal Kombat and other fighting games, you know, you, some of those are playable by a lot of uh, blind and visually impaired players. Uh, and then I have game, and then I also, so that's part of it. And then the other part is games that feature blind characters or blind uh, main characters, protagonists, whatever. So we've got, um, you know, a couple of those on here. Of course, Perception, and um, that's that's the best one, I think, of the bunch. This one here, ooh, Beyond Eyes. Interesting idea, but meh. anyway, there's a couple other ones. But So that's the kind of thing that I'm going to focus on in this Steam group. If there are games that are really good for low vision or really good for blindness, uh, for blind users, if there are games that feature blind characters and stuff like that. Those are the kind of things that I'm going to feature. So it's not going to be this huge list of uh, games that I've covered in some fashion on the channel before. It's going to be a lot more manageable list that people can kind of go to. So that is the Steam client. I skipped a bunch of unknown, things, but unknown, those are unknown. the things that I typically go to. So now if I alt tab, welcome to Steam Internet Explorer. Welcome to Steam, welcome to Steam Internet document. Explorer. Link graphic BGF. So we have our page here. I'm going to start at the top. Link graphic BGFH link BGFH. All right. So link that's going to take me like probably to my profile or something here. Link card 0. 
cart zero. Link wallet, $26.02. Okay, I got notification something 17. in my Steam wallet. 17 uh, notifications. I could go into there. Visited link store. Store. Visited link community. Link you and friends. You and friends. Link support. Link account details. Link support. Link account details. Link preferences. So you don't have the same exact layout. Uh, you don't have the exact same things that you do on the Steam client because the Steam client software can do more than the website, of course, because you can play the games and stuff. Because you, like you don't have New your releases. library tab Re featured and recommended. Because you wouldn't need that Earl here. But HTTP if I magnify store, again, wish games, games, free to play. You know you Eight, store, have be about be home. Hush. Store. So you got your store, your community, BGFH, about, and zero. support. And these store community, are, BGFH, of about course, zero. they have pop-up menus. I have not gotten them to work with NVDA or System Access as far as being keyboard. Like, I've even tried using the uh, browse mode cursor, uh, rooting the brow the the rooting the mouse to the browse mode location and clicking because sometimes that does work. I actually was helping somebody with a uh, recent, uh, what was it, D2L page where you had to do some really goofy stuff to make that work uh, in one of their recent updates. So, you know, I've, I'm familiar with how to use the screen reader, and for the most part, I really can't get those to work. But if I mouse over them, actually, let me zoom in again here. If wish, I mouse store over HTTP them, well, store, wish uh, store community. hush, Feature, store. store. And I move my mouse down. Featured. Explore. Curators. Wish list. News. Stats. So if you do Featured have and low vision and you want to have speech to supplement, you know, like you can't read everything or your eyes would get tired of going through all this stuff, you can use uh, mouse over to do some of this more graphical stuff. Wish. Community. Again, if I go to community. Home. 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 Discussions. Workshop. Market. Broadcasts. Oh yeah, I forgot about I forgot about um, workshop. Yeah, people can create their own content Market, workshop, for a lot of home, games. Community, be about, support, so that's another about, community feature. BGFH, activity, profile, friends, groups. See, don't doesn't this look familiar from my other uh, from the Steam window? Content, badges, inventory. Yeah, badges, so there you content, go. tab row, support, about, uh, about, support, and then support. Store, Those wish, are wish, recommended by friends, by curators, tags, discovery. So let's uh, let's not magnify anymore. So let's. Uh, Keep arrowing down here. Change language. Where are we? Clickable change user. Clickable view desktop website. Copyright Valve Corporation. Owners in the U.S. and other countries. Link subscriber agreement. Link uh, refunds. Visited link graphicstore.steampower.com. Visited link store. Visited link community. Link BGFH. Visited link about. Link support. Visited link install Steam Clickable 17. Clickable Jesse and... So install Steam. You can go to steampower.com and there'll be a button right near the top of the page where, you know, if you want to play Steam games, you can actually install the Steam client. Um in all of its inaccessible glory at the moment. Link $26.02. Link graphic BGFH. Recommended. Link by friends. So now we're getting to the store page itself. And let me go to the top again. Link graphic BGFH. I can link. use my quick navigation because, of course, we are in a browser window. Search the store edit. I did a, So if I want to search for a game, let's, uh, yeah, let's do that. So if I do that, um, let's look for, there's a game that I wanted to look at um, called... Absolver, A B S L V E R. Absolver. Steam search. Link graphic BGFH. Now, I've played with this a little bit online, but not a lot because I mainly just use my magnification and use my local Steam client, uh, the software. <clears throat> but for the search results, what I typically find is easiest is if I go to the top Link of the page. Link graphic BG. On my search results page, I hit E to edit. Search the store edit. But if I arrow down from there. Heading level two browsing. Absolver link search term equals Absolver. Sort by link relevance. Edit Absolver. Button search. Link Absolver. So link Absolver. Link August 29th, 2017, $29.99. Yeah, so it just came out mm, two days ago. Link Absolver. That's the one I want, so let's look at this uh, Steam page. Let's let's learn about this game. Absolver on Steam. Oh, it's going to automatically... Link graphic BGFH, link BGFH. Okay. Link cart. Zero. So it's going to play... Link wallet, 26. The video automatically. Now, in the Steam client software, you can disable that, which I do, um, because I don't like videos auto playing. And by default, the the video is going to be muted. Um, so if you want to hear the volume, you actually have to go and you know raise the volume on the video. Now, interesting. Let me see if uh, search the store edit. All 
three thousand positive two thousand negative eight hundred all three thousand and fifty link graphic. I don't know if buy up solver heading level one. Let's go to the link top graphic here. Buy up solver buy up solver deluxe recent updates view all eleven August thirty first heading I can level two get... recent buy up sol buy up solver heading level one multiplayer e three two thousand awards link read critic reviews. No previous heading. See. Link graphic BGFA. What drives me crazy about a lot of these web pages. Stores. Okay, let me magnify for a minute here. Wish list. So, your store, your Absolver. Commun all games great. Absolver. Absolver. Uh, which is this kind of video. crazy, op it's kind of like video. a third person, like a f open world fighting game kind of a thing. Which I might look at on the channel eventually if Wish I list. buy the game. One. All games but, greater action. Absolver. So you have Absolver. Well, look at this. It's big. It's bold. But it's not a heading. You know, why would you, like, if I were designing this, why would you not Community make that? Absolver. That could be a heading All one. Games greater and then from that heading, Absolver I could just go down to the video. video. I don't know. HTT, buy up $29.99, add to cart. Let me try something Link here. Link graphic, no next button. See. Link graphic, BG, no next button, no next button. And the buy buttons, it, it doesn't even, like... You can get to them because they're typically like links and stuff, but you really have to learn your way around the website a little bit. And I even like I use their website to read about the game sometimes because if I let's say I'll go buy up solver heading level one twenty nine dollars link add to cart. So there's a link add to cart. It's not a button, even though it visually looks like a button. They treat it as a link, so you know it's not. There's some discrepancy there. Heading level one buy up solver. Deluxe edition, $39.99. Okay, so there's a deluxe edition, apparently, which I didn't know about. Link add to cart. Heading level 2. Recent and usually it'll tell us, so 11. after the whole pricing and the videos and stuff like that, it looks like the videos you may actually have to use your vision in order to um, Link add get to the cart. player to go. Let me In arrow Online here. interactions, not violence. Blank. Table. Column 1. Polish. Ro 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 column yeah, 1. Yeah, see, it's Alt, so... Link games. Link your store. Link games. Link hardware. Link videos, link news, edit link graphic, link all games greater, link action, link community hub, Absolver. Absolver is an online multiplayer combat game where players are placed behind a mask of a... I think it just skips over. Like, I've, I tried this earlier and I didn't have luck doing the video either. Prospect under control of the guides. The so new rulers of the fallen on all empires. So it's reading Your worth in joining. Clickable user reviews. Overall. Mostly positive. Two th release date. August 29th, 2000, popular user defined So it's actually product. reading, I think, the stuff on the right hand side first. Link action, link fighting, link martial, which link is arts, link really multiplayer, bizarre. link TV, tags you've applied, clickable plus add your own tags, video. 133 slash video. Okay, so it does find the video. 136 slash 246. Autoplay videos. Link view your queue. Autoplay videos. One for autoplay videos. So it says autoplay. There's, the, there's where the checkbox would be to autoplay videos, but it doesn't tell you that it's a checkbox. View your queue link. PVP link. So view your queue link. Yeah, if I tab and shift tab from there, it doesn't even tell me that that's a. So there, there's still aspects of it that you're gonna want to have vision for. Um, but let's go read. Let's go read about some. Buy up solver heading level one. Here. Link heading let's level one. Buy up solver the, deluxe let's edition. Let's go read about this game. Thirty nine dollars and not, link add to cart. Heading level heading level two August thirty first. Heading level one link up solver patch one point zero three. So they usually give you a little section that tells you about the recent updates to the either the game or the community or whatever they're doing. Um, so you get to hear about that. Dear prospects, the team at Slowclap is dedicated to August 29th heading level 2. Absolver launch plus incoming update link heading level 1. Blank. Let's go heading again. Reviews heading level 2. Digital Deluxe Edition heading level 2. Okay, so Digital Deluxe Edition. Here we go. Blank. The Absolver Deluxe, Absol the Absolver Deluxe Edition includes the official soundtrack from Austin Wintry and the art of... Okay. Absolver 52 page digital art book. So I get a soundtrack and art book for an extra 10 bucks. And if the soundtrack is good, that's that's not a bad deal because there's some games with them with some really good soundtracks and Steam does offer read more. A lot of that. So read more um, that'll basically expand like they kind of just put a little little bit of that description there and then you have to expand it to kind of show more. Heading level 2 about this game. In the ruins of the fallen Adal Empire. You awaken with a mysterious mask on your face, and faint recollections of an esoteric ceremony. Freeing you from hunger, thirst, and even death, the mask is the creation of the guides, the rulers of these lands, who have placed you here to determine whether you are worthy of becoming part of the elite core of Absolvers. As you wander okay. these forsaken lands, encountering other prospects like you, you will learn new combat styles. Acquire weapons, gear, and armor, and build a team of warriors with whom to fight side by side in arenas of combat. Blank. Please visit the official Absolver FAQ on the Steam discussion board for more information. 
Okay. Link HTTP blank. Fluid real time combat. Position yourself in one of four tactical stances. So then they usually give you like a bulleted list of different game features. And some of these actually can be really useful when you're trying to like sometimes, you know, you get these trailers where they just they they show all this CG footage, computer generated footage. And you like, have no idea what the hell the game even is because it's all pre-rendered crap. Uh, so you actually have to look at the description to find out like, oh, what kind of game is this again? Blank. Fluid real time combat. Position yourself in one of four tactical stances during real time battles and execute devastating attacks, dodges, and parries. Movement becomes your weapon as you engage in solo duels or intense multiplayer melee battles. This actually sounds really neat. Blank. Customizable style and flow. Players will define their character's play style by picking a combat style, a weapon of choice, and arranging attacks in their combat deck to design their unique end. Personal attack flow. Blank. Online multiplayer action and narrative. Prospects and absolvers will seamlessly encounter others in the world, generating unique stories that emerge through player interaction and choices. Moments are filled with tension as intentions to battle or befriend are never clear. Trust is always a leap of faith. Huh. In relationships as you make friends. I'm blank. just going to arrow down a little bit here more because there's one other section I want to make sure that you guys know about. PvP and PvE will receive spoils of so victory PvE, and progress in the rank. Players cooperatively player. battle to retrieve blank. Absolver content updates. The development team. Feedback updates to the these updates. Updates can follow up. Read more. Going. Heading level 2 system requirements. Okay, so they do actually make that a heading. So... System requirements, you're going to want to pay attention to this uh, because, you know, the PC, of course, you know, unless you've got a, a really new rig and a, and a really, you know, a, a pretty good modern video card. Uh, and I'm talking special, like a, a, a mainstream video card or a, not a mainstream, but like a dedicated video card. Um, you know, like let's say you're playing with a laptop, you know, like your Intel chipsets. Those are typically weaker graphics cards. I mean, they get the job done for office and videos and, you know, internet, things like that. But for gaming, you know, you're going to want, um, you know, the smaller indie games, not so much, but like your main AAA games or your, you know, uh, stuff that you would play on a modern console a lot of times. You know, you're going to want to have an inv dedicated NVIDIA or AMD graphics card. GPU in your computer. Um, like I said, some of the, some of the the smaller titles, yeah, you can get you can get by with like your Intel or Realtek or whatever the heck integrated chipset that you have. But a lot of games. So if I arrow down, list with three items minimum. Minimum. So you have two columns. You have minimum and recommended. So let's go look at our minimum requirements for the, for this Absolver game. I'm guessing these specs are going to be pretty high. List with eight items. OS Windows seven slash eight slash eight point one slash ten x sixty four. Okay. Processor, Intel Core i7-950, 4 star wow. 3000, Core i7 equivalent slash AMD minimum? Damn. Not even a Core i5, equivalent. really? Processor, Intel Core i7-950, 4 star 3000, or equivalent slash AMD Phenom 2x4-965, 4 star 3400. Okay, there's your AMD equivalent. Equivalent. Memory, 4 GB RAM. Okay, minimum is 4 gig. Graphics, GE Force GDX 480, 1536 megabytes, slash Radeon HD 7850, so 2048 again, it'll give you megabytes. your main two competitors, you know, your your NVIDIA AMD, so, you know, G, your GeForce card minimum, your AMD card, your Radeon minimum. DirectX, version 9.0. DirectX. Network, broadband, storage, 11 GB available space. Damn, 11 GB. God, games are freaking huge now, and that's a small game. There was a game, what the heck was it? I want to say like some poor upcoming port of Final Fantasy. Uh, some Final Fantasy game that was like over 100 gig. Jesus God, man. 100 and some gig for one game. My operating system doesn't even take up that much, I bet. And that's Windows. My God. Additional notes. I think these guys need to learn compression again. Out of list, out of, so, out of list, list with three items. Out of, li out of list, list with three items, list with eight items. Additional notes. Gamepad strongly recommended. Okay, gamepad strongly recommended. Out of list, out of list, list with three items recommended. List with eight items. So now OS, we got recommended seven system slash. requirements. So let's see how this is. So minimum, yeah, you can play, yeah, but it'll you know not look the greatest or whatever. But recommended if you want it to run smoothly. Out of li list with eight items. OS Windows seven slash eight slash eight point one slash ten x sixty four. Processor Intel Core i five four six seven zero K four star three thousand four hundred or equivalent slash AMD FX eight thousand three hundred and twenty. Oh weird. Eight star three thousand five hundred or equivalent. Why do they have a Core i5 on the recommended? Eh, and then a Core i7 on the minimum. That doesn't make any sense. Memory, 8 GB RAM. So 8 gig RAM, that makes sense. Graphics, GE Force GDX 960. Okay, 4, 960, I have a 980, so I'm... 
above the max or the recommended requirements. So Direct X there. Version 9.0. Network. Broadband. Storage. 11 GB available God, space. 11 gig. Yeah, let me magnify this again. I want to look at this just because. To review type all. Why would 3, it say? 3,054. All games greater. Um, processor into core i7. I'm going to go OLED, directly processor, across process, processor core OLED, i5. Window. Hell, I don't know. There must be just clock speed differences. So anyway, like this is a, this is what I will do a lot of times. Like, you know, if I really want to read this description, I can't have that read aloud to me in the Steam client. So even if I'm not logged in, I can still go to steampower.com, search for a game, look at the Steam page. You know, I can look at um, the description of the game, the bullet points, the system requirements. If I want to have those read via audio, I can. I can also go up on the right-hand side. I'll, I'll do it visually just so you can see. The other the things that you want to look at. Title, um, languages, interface, single player. On the right-hand side, you've got... Is this game in the top sellers already? In the, is it um, online co-op? You, it'll tell you single player, multiplayer, co-op, controller six, supported. It'll tell you if VR languages, is supported. Um, it gives you a, lang a table with different languages. So languages, like languages, spoken interfa audio, languages, audio, interface, full audio, uh, interface, interface, full audio, full audio, subtitles, and subtitles. Languages, lang so this game, it everything is in English. We're good. Full spoken languages. audio. Is this game fantastic. relevant to you? Languages. Violence uh, your online interaction. ESRB rating. This game. Online, so you got, include, there's your there's your include Steam 22 Steam achievements. Achievements. Include action. Uh, your genre, your Absolve publisher, visit, is this game, you know, you're just your game information. View update history. Visit visit the website. View update history. Read related news. View discussions. Find community groups. So there 78 you go. Is I'm just kinda, is and this then game, you've got a Metacritic. Is this game uh, relevant Metacritic to you? Metacritic rating, uh, 78% so 78 far. Awards. E3, is this game some relevant to you? Some of them have that, some of them don't. But, the, you know, that's largely Read what I news. use the Steam website for. Um, you know, again, I could go into, let's go look Absol at, Absolver. I'm going to use the mouse just because it's faster. Support. Because uh, we're spending a lot of time as it is. Support. Community. Uh, Support. I would like Activity to go profile. to Activity. BGFH, profile. and I would out like list, to go out to list profile. profile. Link. BG. Steam community. Let's see how we read this here. So some of this stuff reads and some of it doesn't even. So let's. Recent activity heading level two. No previous heading. 1.9 hours past two weeks heading level two. So visited notification. Let's just visit, visited link community. Visited link store. L link support. Link account details. Link preferences. Change language. Clickable change user. Clickable view desktop website. Copyright Valve Corporation. Owners. Link subscriber. Visited link graphic store. Dot. Visited link store. Visited link community. Visit vi link support. Link support. So they don't have an actual, like, again, they're not, you know, a lot of users will, um, you know, navigate by heading to just kind of explore the page. And I tried that. It skipped over a lot of the stuff. Like, to me, my little BGFH thing, that should be, that should be um, a heading, in my opinion. Maybe a heading link, but it should still be a heading. Visited link install Steam clickable 17 click. so BGFH Steam. clickable. BGFH clickable. Jesse Anderson, St. Paul, Minnesota. Link level 50. Link graphic 1. Link years of service. So there's my years of service badge that I featured. 650 XP. 650 XP. Link edit profile. Legally blind gamer and technology geek. Uh, sure. Okay, little quick description there. Link illegally cited YouTube channel. There we go. There is, so this is the stuff that you heard me describe when I was looking at the Steam client software. Currently online. Yep, I'm currently online. Link badges 88. Twice, actually. Link graphic 13. Link badges 88. Badges 88. Link graphic 13. Link graphic 639,900. So I don't know what these are. Link graphic 408. Link graphic 3. Link games 1,841. Damn, that's a lot of games. <laughs> Link inventory. Yeah, I know. Link I game. need help. Link inventory. Uh, inventory. Link screenshots 2. So screenshots. Link videos 219. Okay, so there's my videos. Link workshop items. So, and you hear them, those are links. So if I go to these, I can view this stuff. So, you know, a large part of, I'm not, I'm not going to teach you. I should have said that's probably up front, but this video is not to teach you how to use steam with the screen reader or the steam website with the, uh, with the screen reader, because it's just too complex. It's just like any other really complicated website um, you know, I, I don't know what features are important to you. I don't know what, you know, areas, you know, do you want to look at profiles? Do you want to browse the, the Steam store and read, uh, you know, descriptions of uh, the games in the, in the store? Are you looking at managing your inventory? Are you looking at, you know, 
using, you know, the social stuff like friends and stuff like that. What I'm trying to at least show you is that, you know, while the Steam client software sucks right now for accessibility, at least you can kind of get around. It's, it's not the most efficient. Some of it can be actually clunky. Um, but you can develop your own, just like you would for any other, you know, website. You can develop your own strategy, <clears throat> your own system of, you know, keyboard commands that you want to use to access the different areas of each page. You know, so if you want to look at your profile a lot, you can kind of learn, oh, maybe if I search for this keyword, you do a, do a find, and I can jump to a certain part of the page. Or if I go to this heading here, or if I jump to this edit field and then arrow down, I can get to what I want to be. So, you know, you just have to develop your own strategy for navigating, you know, not just the Steam website, but any website. You know, people, little side tangent here, but, you know, a lot of, you know, I've worked in, you know, training and stuff like that in the past too. And, you know, people are like, well, I want training on how to use this website or using that website. And, you know, if it's like job specific or if it's, you know, something that's really you know, really crazy, that might be the case. But, you know, largely, I think, you know, just learning web fundamental skills, because, you know, websites change on a daily, sometimes hourly basis, it seems. So, you know, you just really have to, you know, I mean, yeah, the Steam page is actually not super nice. It's okay in some ways, and it's really cluttered in others. So, you know, again, it's just one of those things that you have to kind of, you know, Know your key, you know your keyboard shortcuts. Know your uh, quick navigation keys. You know use your uh, find feature. Use your links list. Use your um, table navigation. A lot of people forget about table navigation. Those can be super helpful in a lot of cases. Uh, I live by that in a lot of stuff at work. Um, so it's just really developing your own strategy. But what I wanted to show you really in this video was that. You know, you can actually get around a decent amount of the the content in Steam. You know, the video, the multimedia stuff is kind of broken. But what I would say, you could read the text about the game. Let's say, let's say you wanted to read the description of Absolver. And then you could just go to YouTube and look up, like, Absolver trailer. And it would probably show you the same trailers that you would see on Steam. So, yeah, it's not, you know, you can't get at it as easily uh, due to the limitations and stuff, maybe. But at least, you know, you have a way to do it. But Link reviews 26. Let's keep going down. So, reviews. Link, guys. Link artwork. Link group 16. Link graphic illegally cited. I'm just, okay, so groups. Link group 16. Link graphic illegally 16 cited. groups. There's my illegally cited group. We could go. Let's go to that, actually. Steam community. Group. Illegally cited. Visited link graphic BGFH visited so link. So let's B see what headings we got here just out of curiosity. Gaming from a legally blind perspective heading level one. Okay. Welcome to the illegally cited group for the illegally cited YouTube channel. This group is dedicated to gaming from a legally blind perspective. Blank. This group is a work in progress, but I hope it will become a useful resource. Blank. So there you go. And then there's a couple of announcements, my featured games. Let's see if visited there's link. a button here. No next button. See, they're not buttons. They look like buttons, but they're not. So I could bring up a links list. Let's Elements see what list we got here. BGFH store community UN friend support sick account detail preferences privacy legal Let's see if I can subscriber find group, refunds twelve of nine store dot steam powers dot com thirteen of ninety J. Okay, I was thinking maybe like a join button. Store fourteen of nine. Probably not for me because I'm I'm already a member. I'm actually the founder, so I won't have a join button. Community fifteen of BGFH about seventeen of ninety support eighteen installs BGF invite friend overview twenty two of invite friends twenty one so, of ninety. So yeah, I have zero. an invite friends button instead of having that. You may have that as well, but you may also have a join group button because, like I said, I can't join it because I'm already the founding member. US. Steam so, you know, you can access it, though. So you could join the illegally cited YouTube or a illegally cited Steam group. And then you could, uh, you know, we could have, there's a button in the middle of the page there are for... No start a new discussion. We could have, there are no you know, discussions there's for d discussions. You know, we could do, like, forum discussions. You know, you can look at my curator about list, which cited. is those games I was talking about earlier. You know, I want to build, since a lot of what I do is through Steam on the channel, I figured that would be a good way to kind of supplement, you know, and give you guys another resource for, you know, tying things together. you got Twitter, you got YouTube, and you've got Steam. And if I can get the, the curator list and get some members going here, that would be a good thing to do. 
Um, so, you know, again, this is just a very, very brief, like I said, if I were going through everything, we would be here forever. This is going to be a super long video as it is, but I'm going to do one more thing for you. I'm going to Folder minimize list. everything to my desktop. I'm going to grab ye iPhone and I am going to turn voiceover, voiceover on, on because I'm going to have to do this again, gorilla style here of, uh, you know, directly in front of the mic. But I am going to show you really quick. All right, there we go. Let's, uh, there we go. Let's pop on the old mirroring here. And now I can show you the Steam app. Steam, okay. So this might be also another way to access a lot of steam's features so if you don't want to go to the website you can log into the steam app as well um and it also your steam app app can also act as like a second layer of uh, verification so security level to your steam account so when you when you pop into steam you uh if you are log first it'll of course it'll ask you to log in um, but once you are when you every time you start up the steam app it will give you your list of friends so i have a list here one zero T offline unassigned offline ankle razor offline baby face C four chaos six geek simplified G W L offline geek simplified offline G W Ian Hamilton offline Hey my man Ian Hamilton how's it going man Ian Hamilton offline last on jawbreaker offline There's jawbreaker so let's go to him offline jawbreaker item button So this is you know just like we saw on the Steam website and the Steam client software Geek at heart even when I don't have time to be a geek or still have much to learn to fill being a trolley geeky geek. I ignore friend invites unless you send me a message first. The reason is simple. I don't know you, but I am willing to listen. Okay, well, so there you go. You know, you just say message him first and then uh, add him as a friend. Uh, this is the guy that, you know, we've done videos in the past. You know, some of the co-op videos, some of the Minecraft videos. I've mentioned him quite a few times on the channel, Jawbreaker. Uh, so this is his Steam profile. Level, link. 33. Level link. 33. 2, 3, 8, 2, 1, 0. Nuisance. Link. 500 nuisance. Link. Nuisance. Okay, I'm not quite sure what that badge is, but... Currently offline. Currently offline. Badge. Currently offline. And this app, you can flick, but I was... In some cases, I would almost think Explore by Touch actually ends up working a lot better. Um, badges. Link. So there you got your badges. 13. Link. Image. I have... Thir she, or he has 13 badges. 25. Link. 1. Link. Image. I don't know what some of those. So some of this stuff isn't labeled either. Friends one. Link. Friends one. Okay, so. Screenshots. Link. Screenshots. It, games. Link. Inventory. Link. Games. Link. Oh, it doesn't. Uh, well, it doesn't read. On this screen anyway, it doesn't. It does. It says games, but it doesn't read the parentheses number after it. So like, if you have five videos or twenty games or whatever, then like I said, this guy's. Uh, almost as insane as I am, he has over a thousand games. I can't see it really well, but one thousand was it one thousand two hundred and or three hundred? I'm looking at my phone. Actually, if I looked at the okay, yeah, one thousand three hundred and fifty. Damn, you got a lot of games, sir. Uh, yeah. But uh, so this is your Steam profile page. I'm not going to spend a lot of time, but see, you got his widgets up here. Okay, so he has his widget here for his uh, game library. So, 1,250. 1,250. 993. 900 and what? 993. 993 DLC. He's actually got more. D I don't know. I don't remember. 13. So yeah, like badges and stuff. You got your. Now the problem here's the problem with the Steam app. Anything graphical. A lot of the like the game thumbnails, uh, you know, that show like a little banner of what the game is. Those images, none of them are labeled. <clears throat> so instead, you're all, you're gonna hear things like two two seven three two zero link image. Uh huh. But if I flick over to the right, you need a budget for Y and A B link. So that is the name of the app. So usually, like you hear the a weird number, and then if you flick to the right from there, uh, usually you'll get the next item will at least be the text version of. The, the game. Two, four, six, two, two, one, not six, in, in certain areas, you won't have that. But let me go to... So let's go... So we looked at a profile. In the upper left-hand corner, we've got our menu. It just says item. Um, so Steam Guard, that's like your extra security stuff. I'm not going to go in there or there. 
So friends, this is where, again, that's where we started when we opened the app. Notifications, 17. Notifications, so this is again just like on the Steam client uh, or the website where I can say, oh, I got invites or I've got notifications, you know, whatever is, is under there. Like if I go under there, it'll say new comments, zero. New, comments. New, item zero. new item zero. New invite 17. New gift zero. And these do read, they're a little bit clunky, but you can read them. Store. Let's go to the store. And so it pops up like a little sub menu. It's like a, almost like a tree view menu. Featured. So featured. Explore. Curators. Card. Search. So a lot of times I end up going to search. PGFH. Um, and again, I'm doing this a little bit faster. Just, you know, we've, this is a super long video already. Um, Browsing. So I'm going to, I'm going to, speed things up by exploring by touch because I can kind of see where I'm going. But the point is, is that near the top of the page, All products. Enter search term or tag. Text field. if I am I'm exploring Double by touch and kind of on the left side of the page, there is a search edit box, which I can type into. March 23rd. And below that, there's a whole list of games, which... See, some of them, it's weird. Some areas... Life is strange before storm. Link. Image. Absolver. Link. Image. Okay, so I don't even have to search for it. It's actually right in this list. So they'll have like the latest releases or most popular games. You can sort by those types of things. But in a lot of cases, those banners in a lot of these pages do not read and they'll have like the, the weird random numbers. But again, so if I go, if I touch the Absolver link here, this this is a graphic. Absolver. Link. Image. <clears throat> but if I flick to the right. Absolver. Link. So there is the text version of the link, and you can maybe see that on focus. August 29th, 2017, $29.99, link. So let's go back here. Absolver, let's link. go into the Absolver game. Absolver, link. Since we looked at that on the uh, website. User reviews for this game are positive. Oh, what? Mostly 70% of the 2,847 user reviews for this game are positive. Okay, so that's pretty good. A lot of reviews, and a lot of them are positive. That's good. <clears throat> Release date. August 29th, 2017. Popular user defined tags for this product. So user tags are just like, um, you know, action, adventure, first person, uh, indie. You know, I mean, you can have, there's kind of some, game, there's some tags that are automatically assigned to a title. And then there are ones like user created. Like, you know, I could make, uh, you know, I could make a custom tag that says uh, blind accessible. Or a blind character, you know, and then uh, people could look up that code or could look up that that tag, and then oh, okay, here's some uh, blind character tags. Absolver is an online multiplayer combat game where players are placed behind the mask of the prospect under control of the guides, the new rulers of the Fallen Adel Empire, who will determine what worth in joining their elite core of Absolvers. So let's scroll down here. Page two of twelve. Now here's the frustrating thing: <laughs> they show all the stuff in the app, but I have never page one of 12 start playback button. And there is an embedded video, but I have never gotten this to work ever. Um, start playback. Let's button. see if weird. Done. Button. Uh Oh, Show Oh, controls. Button. now it play. Okay. So now we, you want to watch a trailer? Let's go. When, maybe, you know, usually when I'm I'm either out and about or I'm at work and I'm using my internet at work and maybe it's just because I have shitty internet at work that it just doesn't, it can't play. Huh. I've, but like I said, I usually I double tap the play button and nothing happens. It used to work way back in the day, and then they broke it for a while, uh, and then I just I quit looking at it because I never got this tr embedded trailer to work. So if you, maybe, you know, the Steam app might be honestly the better way for you guys to use Steam. Like if you want to use like regular keyboard and stuff, you can do it on the website, but um, yeah, accessing the media and stuff right in the app, uh, yeah. So there's your, uh, there's your trailer. Let me, uh, uh, so we're not going to finish that. Okay, so let's go back. Okay, so I'll be damned. That actually worked. I swear to God, I did this earlier today, and it did not work. 
So under the uh, different videos and screenshots, on wish list. Link. it's already on my wish list. Follow. Not interested. I could do the not interested button, but I do not want to do that. Link. Single player. Link. So here's, again, the things that were on the side of the uh, Steam website page. So it's single player. Search. Link. Image. Wait, what? Single player. Search. Link. Online multiplayer. Link. I don't know why it says search. Search. Link. Image. Online co-op. Link. Search. Link. Steam achievements. Link. Search. Link. Full controller support. Link. Full controller support. Actually, it was recommended. Absolver. And then you got your, you know, your uh, publisher and all that kind of stuff. Visit the website. Let view update history. Bed related news. Link. And if I keep scrolling down... Share link and bed link. Is this game relevant to you? Yes, it is. Languages. So here's my language table that I was talking about on the website. English wrote interface. I call blue English column one interface. I call blue check full audio. I call blue check PNG. I call blue. Image. So you can tell that it says check there. Let's go. Subtitles. I call blue check P French row three column interface. I call blue check subtitles. I call blue check. PNG, okay, so it doesn't it doesn't really distinguish. So that that table is kind of useless for screen reader use because it doesn't actually it seem to tell. It just says check no matter what because French is is not checked for audio. So, but there you go. Um, disrupt. If image disrupt online interactions not rated by the SRP. Violent disrupt. Give. See all seven supported languages. Page four. Okay, so then you've got. By absolver. Add to cart link. Add to cart link. Add to cart link. Thirty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. By absolver. Deluxe edition. Heading level one. So again, I'm just exploring by touch to go a little faster. But if I were to flick. Thirty nine dollars and ninety nine. Add to cart link. So they kind of go in order. So if I start up at the part where it says by absolver, by absolver flick to the right. Twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Twenty nine bucks or thirty bucks. Add to cart link. Add to cart. That would add the regular edition. Flick to the right again. By absolver. Deluxe edition. Deluxe edition. $39.99. Flick to the right again. There we go. Add to cart. And add to cart. And you keep going down. So there's your recent updates area. More stuff. Let's keep going down. Actually, so there, remember, remember we read that on the website. Read more. So if I read more, digital gaming access link nine slash ten. Absolver is one of the Absolver Deluxe Edition includes the official soundtrack from Austin Windory and the art of Absolver fifty two page digital art about this game heading level two. Okay, so there wasn't much actually extra to add there, but so there's your description. So we already read this on the other thing, so I'm not going to bother. System requirements. But then you have your system requirements heading level two. So heading level two. Um, so there are some headings, although they're not, you know, totally optimized. Windows 7 slash 8 slash 8.1 slash 10 OS. Windows OS minimum. So you got your minimum and your recommended. And everything is nice and in one column. That's the nice thing if you're doing this on a phone. You know, you don't have the multiple, um, you don't have the multiple, like, columns and weird layouts and stuff that you might have to deal with on the uh, desktop versions. So there may be an advantage to this. Um, version 9.0 GeForce GTX 960 4096 megabytes. One other thing I want to show you, and I have n I, this is this is something I haven't recently gotten to work, but I want to do I'm going to go to the store really quick. Search, I'm going to do a search. Actually, I wonder if it's on the list just so I don't have to search for it. Uh, let me just see. Yeah, Sonic Mania. So I do own this now. Um, I have not installed this onto Steam yet. If you are logged on to your home computer into in the Steam software client, you can actually remotely install a game from your phone supposedly although i have not always gotten this to work so when i go down because i already own this under where you have the the movies and the you know the the follow add to wish list blah 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 um there's a section where it says sonic mania is already in your steam library if i flick to the right 
I could install Steam. Well, you don't want to do that, but... Play now. Link. Play now. So if I go to Play Now, let's see what Play it now. actually Link. does. See, there, there used to be an actual button that says Install. And I know you would get that button once you... Like if I purchased a game using the Steam app, uh, when I would be on my receipt page, there would be a button to say, hey, remotely install on Steam. But I'm looking at my computer... And I Steam community don't group, illegally cited Internet Explorer. Steam com Steam. I don't see. Yeah, see now I'm back at my phone. See, I don't folder view list. There, we're back at my phone again. I have never really gotten that to work. I don't know why. Um, because that would be a really fantastic feature. There could be something in my configuration that I don't currently have set up correctly, or that my app is not seeing, especially since I just reformatted, or not, well, I reinstalled Windows um, over itself a couple weeks ago. Um, so there may be something that I just haven't set up again recently, but I would like to get that working again. So it may work for you. You know, you may want to just, uh, you know, try it, you know, look for, like I said, let's say you wanted to get Skullgirls and you want it because that's fully screen reader supported. Maybe you could, you know, buy it, you know, install Steam. You'd have to log in on, on the on the Steam desktop client, but then you could also log in on your phone, browse the store, buy it on the phone or the website, and then on the on the go to the Steam store page on your phone and since you already own the game, you could theoretically have it, uh, you could install it and it should remotely do it. You're supposed to be able to do that. Although I've, like I said, I've had really sketchy luck getting that to work. So your mileage may vary. Um, like I said, this video has gone on super long, but I, you know, there's so much to cover. And I've had a lot of people ask me about Steam in various forms, like, hey, what are some Steam games that are accessible? Can I play on Steam? Is is Can I use this, a screen reader with Steam? Uh, and it's not just a simple yes or no, because there are different aspects of it. Like I said, the client overall, the, the, the software itself, sucks for screen reader accessibility. It's awful. It doesn't work really at all. Um, but the website is, eh, it's uh, okay. The Steam um, app is... It's largely okay. Um, one thing I really wish they would add to the Steam mobile app, you know, I talked, we, you saw the thing about the soundtracks. It would be perfect for a mobile device. This has nothing to do with accessibility, but another thing that I would love for Steam to add, you know, I buy a bunch of games, I have soundtracks. They should just have, a, they should have in that little menu a soundtrack, uh, in your, my like a library soundtracks, link in that menu where, you know, oh, I'm out and about and maybe I want to listen to a game soundtrack while I'm working, you know, um, just like you would stream, you know, Pandora or Google Music or iTunes or whatever it is you want to use, just like any other music service, any, like you would just, you logged in and it would show any game soundtracks that you own. You could just pull it up, pull up a, and play a soundtrack or play a specific song from a soundtrack. That would be a really, really cool feature. But more importantly, you know, yes, that would be cool, but I want accessibility. So again, wrapping up the video here, um, as you can tell, it's Steam. not a simple answer. You know, there's not a simple, like, oh, is Steam accessible? Uh, yes and no. The Steam client, not so much. Uh, I don't have a really good suggestion for you as far as once you get the games installed um you know how would you navigate the steam client to uh to play them what i would probably recommend is if i go to this my PC windows window. explorer here and i don't know why nvda does this sometimes i have to nvda menu exit x exit NVDA. nvda dialog what would you like to do it's been a it's been a weird thing that i've had happen a, a recently where I'll open it in a Windows Explorer window, and sometimes it'll read, and sometimes I actually have to. Sometimes oh, no. I actually have to restart NVDA, Steam. and then it'll read. This PC window, devices at Win7 Pro 64. And it might have something to do with like my recording software, like there's something overlaying new it, volume. stuff like that. So. Win7 new volume. 
I don't know. New but volume, if I go to game my, G, where I put my Steam list. library. S. SMB X row S. Soft row 7 S. Steam row 18 column 118 so of 25. Steam, items view list. Um, and, you know, typically it'll be under your C and program files, but, you know, because I have such an epically big library and I do a lot of stuff with it, I install my my Steam uh, my Steam games onto a completely different hard drive that I have in my computer. So I go into where my Steam library or my Steam uh, folder is. Bin row two of cache row one column one one of seventy eight. And bin row two column one two of seventy eight. Config row three column controller base depot cache row dumps row six of cache row one co- s t Steam row eighteen column one Steam apps row nine. There's a, there's a folder under Steam and then Steam apps. Items view list. Common not selected row one column one one depot cache row two and common you row one go column to common one items view list because that's where that that's just it's buried. Um, but let's say that I wanted let's see if I can find it here. R O road redemption row fourteen okay, column road four. redemption items view list R road redemption early access data row two column road redemption early access dot exe steam api sixty four dot steam api dot steam road redemption early access dot exe row three column so one, I'm going to kill NVDA here road redemp road redemption early access dot exe row three column exe, one. so that's the executable I'm going to kill NVDA NVDA menu exit x exit NVDA dialog and I am going to hit enter on this exe theoretically this should run the game and it appears it's doing something Come on. There we go. Yep. Oh, YouTube and Twitch logos there. Okay. You gonna... Jesus, man. I love this game. I'm definitely gonna be doing more of this game once we get... Once it's a full version, but they've made a lot of updates to this. It's it's really awesome. But see, so I've launched it through, you know, let's say I'll exit here, but like now we're back into the Windows Explorer. So, you know, if you were, let's say you were able to install a Steam game remotely through your phone, as long as it got installed then you could just go to your Steam folder, Steam Apps, Common, and just find the folder for your game, and then you could find the executable like that and run it. And if you wanted to, like you could create, you know, you could right click on it and uh, or hit your application key. On. I could I could hit <clears throat> the application key uh, on that uh, Road Redemption file and chose, you know, to send an, uh, an a shortcut, des- uh, create a desktop shortcut. And then I wouldn't have to, like, if it was a game that I kept coming back to, <clears throat> then I could launch it. I could make a direct shortcut to to that Steam file or that, um, it's not a Steam file, but it's just a, you know, regular program executable um, to where you could, um, you know, shortcut that to your desktop and then just boom, even though it's running through Steam, you wouldn't have to run it through Steam because you could just make a uh, executable uh, from your desktop, uh, or shortcut to it. So we covered a ton of information here, and some of this might, you know, like I said, some of this might be, you know, you might already know this information, but I'm guessing a lot of people are really unfamiliar with Steam just because of how inaccessible the client software is. So that should at least give you an idea of some of the things that you can do in Steam and what some of the all these different things are. You know, it's not just a store and it's not just a way to launch games. You know, it's got a whole community. It's got a trading system. It's got a, you know, mod add-ons thing with your, um, with the Steam Workshop. It's got, you know, forums. It's got all kinds of stuff, you know, Steam Chat, everything like that. Um, so it's, it's a whole big spiel, but at least there's other ways to access it. You can, you know, kind of get through it from the website. You can get through it, uh, for the steam app on iOS. I think there's an Android version, which I have not actually tested in a long time. I think I did try it on my Nexus seven way back in the day, but that's been ages. So who knows how it is now, but, um, like I said, it's not meant to be a full tutorial. This video is not meant to be a full tutorial. 
Um, but if you are considering PC gaming and you're looking at Steam because that's where most of the games go, this should at least give you some potential ideas. And again, I would highly, highly suggest, highly recommend that you join me in contacting the people at Steam or at, at Valve, the creators of said uh, Steam, contact them and let them know that, hey, you want to play games too. You are blind or low vision, legally blind, whatever. Let them know that you want to play this stuff too. And, uh, you know, again, give them examples. Microsoft, Sony, they're doing stuff. Get with the program. It's not like they don't have the money. They're loaded. Um, you know, they could make their client accessible if they wanted to. Um, you know, and then you have alternatives like good old games, uh, which is a whole other thing. I don't know if their client is accessible either, but uh, I may look at those in, in in another video in the future because those you can download the games directly and just run them from a folder. You don't have to. Their, their, their client, uh, their, they didn't even have an equivalent to like a Steam software for the longest time. You, you basically would just go download a zip file from their website for the longest time. And then, um, you know, you just unzip it and then play the game, which worked great, you know, if you were uh, low vision or blind. Um, and you can still do that, if I think. You, you don't have to use their uh, their GOG client. Um, so, you know, you may also highly want to consider good old games. If a game that you want to try is available there, you might want to give that a shot. So... Anyway, that is a whole ton of information, a lot for you guys to soak in, but I hope you guys found it helpful, hope you guys found it useful. Um, we'll wrap it up here, and uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter at BGFH79, uh, join my Steam group, and uh, you can view my curator list here as we got it up on the screen. You can do that through the website or the Steam mobile app as you have, uh, as I have demonstrated. And uh, yeah, hope you guys found it useful. And until next time, I will talk to you guys again later.